Hello everyone and welcome to MS Safety webcast. In the sixth part of this video series on how to migrate Active Directory from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2019, we are going to say how to demote Windows Server 2003 domain controller from an existing Active Directory environment. I hope you guys have already seen first five parts of this video series. To demote a Windows Server 2003 Active Directory domain controller is a fairly straightforward task, so long as you make sure nothing is relying on that server specifically. So let's take a look at our existing domain environment scenario. This is the scenario which we have till now. We have transferred all five FSMO rules to our Windows Server 2016 server. We have also configured Server 2016 as a global catalog server. Then we have migrated DHCP server from Server 2003 to 2019 and as well as we have migrated our shared folders from Server 2003 to Server 2019. In this video, we will remove this Windows Server 2003 domain controller from our mylab.local domain. Now what things we need to check before we demote our Server 2003 domain controller? First thing that you need to check is you must have at least one global catalog server. If you remove the last remaining global catalog server from a domain, you will experience logon issues across the domain along with other functions like search and lookups. So you have to make sure that in your domain at the Active Directory site wise, at least you have one global catalog server. So let's check whether we have a global catalog server or not. Let's move to our server 2016 domain controller and let's open Active Directory sites and services console. Okay, uh, we have our site headquarters and let's click on servers. As you can see, server 2016 and server 2003, both domain controllers are currently configured as a global catalog server. So as already I told you that in one Active Directory site, at least you must have one global catalog server. Anyway, we are going to remove server 2003 from our Active Directory. So I'm going to remove this server as a global catalog server. So let's expand server 2003 and select NTDS settings, let's right click on it and go for the properties. We just need to clear the checkbox, global catalog. Click on apply and click on ok. Let's check the application between both domain controllers. Fine, let's again click on service and click on refresh. Now as you can see, server 2016 is configured as a global catalog server but server 2003 is no longer acting as a global catalog server for mylab.local domain. At a command prompt, I'm going to run command netdom query fsmo. As you can see, all five fsmo rules are currently assigned to our server 2016 domain controller name ws 2 k 16 dclocal So we don't have to worry about FSMO rule as well because right now not a single FSMO rules is currently assigned to server 2003 domain controller. Third thing is that in your site, suppose if you have multiple domain controllers, so at least you have to configure one domain controller as a bridge head server. So let's check the same thing on our server 2016 as well. And that things will be available on Active Directory Sites and Services Console. Here you can see uh, Server 2016 is configured as a bridgehead server for IP inter-site transport. Uh, let's expand Server 2016. If I right click on the server and if I go for the properties, here we have uh, options to configure bridgehead server. So here you can see this server is a preferred bridgehead server for the following transport and it is IP. See, we are not using SMTP for the replication purpose. So that's why only IP is listed here. So we don't have to worry about bridge at server as well. And the fourth one is you have enterprise admin credential to remove domain controller from existing Active Directory environment. Let's check it. Now this time I'm going on server 2003 computer and here I have logged in as an administrator that is the domain administrator and in our Active Directory forest we have only one domain that means this administrator is enterprise administrator for mylab.local domain. So we have a sufficient privilege to remove this server from our Active Directory environment. 
and the last thing which you need to check is about the replication before you remove your domain controller you have to make sure that this domain controller is able to successfully perform replication between all domain controllers so let's check with the server 2016 and uh, let's check on server 2003 as well okay as you can see uh, both domain controllers are able to replicate successfully. You can also run commands like rep admin. Uh, with the help of rep admin command, you can check the status of replication. So let's open command prompt. And at a command prompt, I'm going to type command rep admin space repl summary. Let's press enter key. And you can see right now, uh, under fails, the most important thing is that under fails, we don't have any value. That means replication is happening uh, successfully. Now you can use one more command to check Q for the replication. For that, you need to use rep admin slash Q. And as you can see, Q contains zero items, means replication has been completed successfully. Let's use one more command, so repl. As you can see, all the replications attempt was successful. So in our case, replication has been completed successfully. Now we can start decommissioning of server 2003 domain controller. Let's close this console and let's type a Windows R key combination and at a run menu, we need to type command DC Provo. Let's press enter key. Click on next. Click on next. Here it is asking us to specify local administrator's account password. Click on next. Next again. As you can see, Active Directory removal process has been completed successfully. Let's click on finish to restart this server. Let's go back to our server 2016 domain controller. Let's close this console. And first of all, I'm going to open Active Directory Uses and Computer Snapping. Let's click on Domain Controllers Container. If we click on Refresh button, here you can see we have only one domain controller and that is our 2016 domain controller. We also want to check the same thing in our DNS management console as well. So let's open DNS management console. Let's expand for a lookup zone. Let's click on underscore msdcs.mylab.local and here you can see we have uh, one record for server 2016. Now here you can still see the records for server 2003 domain controller with NS record because DNS service is still there. So we'll remove later on. Let's close this console and now I'm going to open Active Directory Sites and Services to see whether the server is there or not. Let's click on Headquarter and click on Refresh button. Now expand Servers and here you can see we have a Server 2016 domain controller with the NTDS settings. But if we click on Server 2003 domain controller, only name will be there. There is no NTDS settings under the Server 2003 because that has been successfully removed from our Active Directory. Now, if you want, you can uh, delete this object as well, but we are not going to delete it. This object will automatically get deleted from our Active Directory. Let's close this console. One more thing that we want to check on our server 2019. Uh, here we want to check about the DHCP management console because earlier we had specified two DNS servers information in our DHCP scope that we want to modify. Let's expand scope and click on scope options. As you can see here under DNS server, we have an entry for both DNS servers. So that we want to remove. I'm going to clear the checkbox for 192.168.50.5. That is the IP address of our server 2003 computer. Let me check one more time. As you can see, 192.168.50.8 is the IP address of our server 2060 domain controller. So let's remove 192.168.50.5 IP address. Click on apply and click on OK. Fine. Uh, in the starting of this video, I want to show you that, but uh, I forgot to show you this thing. Let's open command prompt. And uh, on this computer already, I have logged in as a HR user 1. Uh, if you click on start button, you can see HR user 1 is there. And if I run command set, 
here you can see logon server it is displaying that currently user hr user1 is currently logging with the help of this domain controller and that is ws2k16-dc so right now as you can see our client computers are using server 2016 domain controller for the login purpose let's close this let's go back to server 2003 computer let's again log in as a domain admin because this server is still part of our active directory domain as a member server let's check the same thing if this is the property and if we click on computer name still this computer is a part of our active directory now i'm going to remove dns services from this server control panel add or remove programs and remove windows component find the networking services click on details and just clear the checkbox in front of dns okay next and click on finish let's close this console and now if you want you can remove this server from your active directory domain as well now let's move to our ppt so we have completed the step number six where we have devoted server 2003 domain controller now it's time to upgrade domain functional level and forest functional level in our existing domain environment so let's go to server 2016 domain controller let's open active directory domain and trust console first of all i'm going to select my local right click that and select reach domain functional level because current functional level is server 2003 and now we want to move for the seventh step where we are going to migrate active directory from server 2016 to server 2019 so that's why we need to upgrade our domain functional level and forest functional level so i'm going to select the highest possible functional level available in server 2016 and that is windows server 2016 let's click on raise and click on ok ok let's do the same for forest functional level ok let's close this let's open active directory users and computer snapping because we want to verify the same thing over there let's select mylab.local go for the properties and here you can see domain functional level and forest functional level is set to windows server 2016 so now we have completed all the steps successfully from step number one to step number six now we can say we have successfully migrated our active directory environment from server 2003 to server 2016 in the last step we will migrate our active directory from windows server 2016 to windows server 2019 and that we will cover everything in a one video so that's it for this video demonstration thank you all for watching this video if you have any query questions or suggestion related to this video feel free to post in comment section thank you all for watching this video